I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I cannot wait to share the great products that I have for you from Amazon. I spent about a week culling through every corner, nook, and cranny of Amazon to find those little-known products that people raved about. The number one bestsellers, the five-star products, and most of them are under $10, which is really great. And I ordered a lot of the products. I ordered all of these products, plus about three more, but I sent three of them back because quite honestly, I didn't think they were quite good enough to share them with you in a video. These are products that I use and love and absolutely think are wonderful. Now first, a little housekeeping. If you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and also wonderful Amazon products, I hope you subscribe and when you click that little bell, it just sends you an email notification of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this because I have a lot to show you. Okay, the first is called Every Drop. And what this is, it's a little makeup spatula or a skincare spatula. And so what you do is, we all know that we have a lot of tubes and jars that unfortunately we can't get the last of the product out. And really that wastes a lot of product. In fact, they estimate that up to 20% of a product is left in the jar when you throw it away. And here is the box for that. And it was $10, I think, maybe well under $10. And as you can see with the little picture there, they're using the spatula to get in every nook and cranny of that little bottle. But let me go ahead and show you. Okay, I have my Arnica gel and I was about to throw this away because there was nothing else left in it, I didn't think. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to try this. And actually, this is a product I have not tried yet, but the reviews were fantastic. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the product down in there. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut the product right here. There we go. And it was totally empty, as you can tell. It was definitely ready to go into the trash. Oh my, there is still quite a bit of product in there. It is clear, so it's a little difficult to tell. Oh my, there is a lot of product down there. Oh my, it is as deep as the spatula and as wide as this is. That is fantastic because this is not an expensive product but it would be really nice to get the last few drops of that product. This is a fabulous little tool if, like me, you use a lot of skincare. Now, the next product is a beauty item, and again, it's under $10, and I have acrylic nails. I get tips on my nails, and I have to go in and get fills, and in many cases, I go into the salon, and they have to soak my nails off, or I do it here at home, and when I soak my nails off at home, I get some acetone, and I put it in a little bowl of water that I put in the microwave. So you take that bowl of hot water and you set a smaller bowl of acetone in there and then you stick your nails in there and sit there for like 20 minutes with a towel over your nails and it just feels really hot and the acetone actually makes white marks all over the tips of your fingers. It's very, very uncomfortable. So basically what I did was I bought this on Amazon and I have not used these yet, but these are called, what are they called? They are called artificial nail removers and you can use them to remove gel nails or any kind of artificial nails and what you do is you just take whoa I'm dropping them all over the place what you do is you just take one and put it on each nail and you're going to take a cotton ball and dip it in acetone put it on the top of your nail and if you really want to have this work quicker first you're going to take an emery board and scruffle up the top of each nail then you'll take the acetone soaked cotton ball put it on the end of each finger and then just put it like that and then you can walk around and be free while you're soaking your nails off. This is a great one. I can hardly wait to start using this. Okay, next we're going to get into some kitchen items and they are phenomenal. Now, the first one is one that I've had for a long, long time and I've raved about this before. This one is probably five years old and this is called the Clever Cutter. And what it is, is it is a wonderful way to cut up vegetables like carrots, zucchini, that kind of thing, especially the long vegetables. And they say it has a built-in cutting board, which it really kind of does. See this little white plastic thing here? This is like a cutting board. And you take your carrot, get the skin off, and you just put the carrot in there or the zucchini or the squash, and you just snip, 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 snip. And it makes absolutely beautiful little rounds of each type of vegetable Really, really love this one. And this one is over $10, but it's still very reasonable. Okay, next we have something that solves the problem of dealing with ground beef. 
And basically, as you know, when you make your spaghetti or your sloppy joes, something like that, it is kind of a hassle to keep just standing there and using your spatula or using a fork or whatever just to keep breaking up that meat. And this is called a meat masher. And as you can tell, it's got a little star-shaped end on it. And really, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you put your ground beef in your frying pan, and then you just take the meat masher, and then you're just mashing like this. And it is a great way to get absolutely beautifully even pieces of ground beef. It also helps it cook faster, and it's certainly easier than cutting up that meat with a spatula. Okay, my next item is a corn stripper. And for those of you who haven't seen this, it solves the problem of when you have corn on the cob and you want to cut it off so that you're not like gnawing on it and having that corn get stuck in your teeth, it is really hard to do that, to cut that corn off the cob. When I do it at my table, I get corn juice sprayed all over me, all over the table, and it's really just not easy. But this is a wonderful little corn stripper and I'll show you how it works. So you think I start with a small end like this, right? I guess I should do this because it is sharp. It's definitely sharp. Got a lot of corn down in there. Okay, now pull it out. Hey, that, that worked pretty well, I have to say. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Let's see. So now here's this top part. Look, it's kind of stripping that. Ah, that's kind of lovely. And I guess you just do this. Whoa, that is sharp. Man, I really like this. Well, that was the corn stripper, and now we have a solution to opening bottles and jars. And I have to admit, I have not used this bottle opener yet because most of my bottles twist off. I'm not quite sure how this one works, but this one is a wonder worker. And both of them together, I think, are about $8.99. And it's pretty self-explanatory too, but when you have a jar that you need to open, you just put it in here, just clench it in the device, depending upon what size it is. These are obviously for smaller bottles and these are larger jars. And you just put it on there and just turn. And I am able to open jars very easily with this. It truly does work. No more stuck pickle jars or going to Allen to say, can you open this? Okay, my next item helps you easily clean up those dishes after dinner. And this is an OXO brand product. And for those of you who aren't aware, OXO or O-X-O is a wonderful kitchen wares line. They have quality products and they're very reasonable. I think this was about $8.99. And I don't know if you can see that there, but I have my Dawn dishwashing soap in there. And you just take off the lid here, it unscrews. You put your dishwashing soap in there. And then when you need to clean up a plate before you put it in the dishwasher or clean up a, a dirty pan, you just take this and go like this. And before you know it, that item is clean because the dishwashing soap is right inside. Okay, this next one I'm a little afraid of. I have not used this yet, but it is super highly reviewed on Amazon. I think it got five stars and maybe had 2,000 people reviewing it. But this is an amazing little guy. This is an avocado pitter and slicer. And I'm going to try it right here. And I have not done this yet, so this should be interesting. And they send it on this little card. It's again an OXO product, which is a really, really good brand there. And so it gives you step-by-step -step directions. And so it says here, one, slice avocado lengthwise with the serrated blade. And I started this avocado because I did want to make sure it was soft enough to work. And so you take that little blade and it actually cuts pretty easily. And this is not a super old avocado, so I'm a little surprised. It's a little firm. Okay, I cut it. Now it says press pitter blades into pit and twist and remove. Pitter blades. Okay, these are the pitter blades. I guess, let's see. Place pitter blades into pit and twist and remove. Oh, okay, great. It did, it removed it. Okay, let's go ahead and try to slice the avocado out of the shell here. I don't know if it's called the shell. There you go. And so you just put that down there. You're just slicing avocado. Oh, very nice. It's coming out very nicely. Whoa. Okay, we're all done. That is how it came out. Just beautiful little slices there. Really do like this one. And I eat a lot of avocados, so I think this will be quite useful. Now, this next item is something I carry around in my purse with me every day, and it really helps solve the problem of my low cell phone battery. 
I am a person who watches YouTube videos all the time. Even at work when I'm doing something that I cannot totally attend to, I will sometimes have my earbud in and I'll be watching a YouTube video or listening to an audiobook. So my cell phone batteries by the end of the day are often kaput. And this is a little purse size charger. Look at that, absolutely wonderful. And I got it in white so that I could see it down in the bottom of my purse, but it comes in many colors. You just take off the little plastic thing here and then what you're going to do is just stick it into your cell phone and you of course have charged this up. It comes with a little piece to help you charge the charger up and as you can see my cell phone battery just went on. The charger is actually charging my phone. You can see up in the corner there the little lightning bolt is there. Absolutely love this and if you like me have problems keeping your cell phone charged this is a wonderful item. Okay, my last product I'm not going to bring out and show to you here because they are storage bins and I'll put them either here or here and so I'll kind of show you what they look like but I bought three different sizes and it was to solve a problem in my master bath which was that I had so many bottles and jars of things, I had so many hair products, everything was kind of falling over, it was driving me bonkers and so finally I decided to order some bins from Amazon and I spent about $130, but I did the whole master bath with that amount of money. But to me, that was well worth it. And let me show you how they look. Okay, that is a cabinet in my bathroom, almost floor to ceiling. And I used all of those bins to really improve things in terms of organization. I had the blue ones before. I got those at Dollar Tree years ago. There's some blue ones up there and blue ones up there. Those were already there, but I did neaten them up. But these are those wonderful storage bins. And I love them because they are tall. And so the bottles and jars just stay in there. I'm going to go ahead and label them. But this one is skincare and masks. The masks are there. This is my derma roller stuff and some fragrance items. This is, what is this? I don't know, just an assortment. Oh, there's a mask in there and some hormonal creams that kind of thing. And here is more skincare, actually body lotions, alpha hydrox lotion, which I love. This is my bruise cream, which I really love. It's Arnica. And there's Glytone, which is wonderful on your body. And there, there are just more body creams there. And here I have sunblocks and the self tanning products, the tan in a can, as they say. And then here is just hair items. Looks a little messy in there, but it's a lot better than it was. And it's so nice that everything is in the right place. So that is how that looks. And those bins are a little bit pricey, but they're excellent quality and I really like them. Now let me go over to my vanity and show you what I did there. Here we go. It's a little messy in here. Sorry about that. And this vanity used to be a total wreck and what kind of started this project is I had two big plastic bins here, just cheap white plastic bins, and all of my hair products would fall over every morning. I could not keep them standing up straight. And I love these bins because they're very tall. I think they're eight inches tall. And so everything just stays upright, which is wonderful. And this is of course all my hair care products. And then I use two of the bins to put my hot tools here my blow dryer here, that's my Dyson blow dryer. Love that blow dryer, it's wonderful. And then some brushes back there. So that's that one. And then I have nothing in here. That is the new storage. But here I have a little thing of cotton rounds here. And when I want to do my skincare at night, I just pull this out. And this is my skincare that I use in the morning and the evening. And it's all standing upright. There's my alcohol that I use for my derma roller. There is my peroxide that I use for my teeth. And then this is just some bath items. It goes clear back there. And these are 14 inches deep. So they hold a lot of products. And then here I have some hair products. Oh gosh, <laughs> I have my, my hair hel helmet. What is this called? Not a hair helmet, bonnet, I guess. That's my heated hair bonnet. I should have showed this in this video. This is a wonderful Amazon product. And then there's some hair care items and some skincare items. And there are just some cleaning items. So that is how that looks. 
And believe me, it is a huge improvement over the way it was. If you'd like me to do a video of the clean out process, I did take video, so just let me know in the comment section below the video. Okay, here is my stove, and I'll show you how these little guards work. There they are, and they also come in black, but they were out of the black when I purchased them, so I went ahead and got the red. It's kind of a nice reminder to be careful when you see the red, but they're just little pieces of foam here, and I've had them on there for about three weeks. They don't burn, and they certainly keep you safe. Well, that was a look at 10 best-selling Amazon products that I truly enjoy. I think they have really kind of improved my life in a lot of ways. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, but also interested in things that just help our lives become a little better, a little smoother, just help keep us organized, that kind of thing, then I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it is a wonderful way to join the 50 Plus Beauty family. We're a great community here. We kind of help each other. We educate each other. It's just kind of a fun community here. We would love to have you. Now, normally I leave you with a little thought for the day. I read from some positive thinking cards, but today I'm not going to do that because this Amazon video has something to do with a goal that I've had since around January 1. And basically for the last few years, I've seen that, you know, many YouTubers have a little Amazon store and I always wanted one. And so January 1, I put it on my goals list. And actually I have a pretty in-depth goal program. I'm a goal oriented person, I guess. And if you're interested in seeing a video about how I set my goals and that whole process, I would love to share that with you. But basically around Christmas, I listened to some YouTube videos by Brian Tracy. And for those of you who don't know Brian Tracy, he's a sales trainer, I guess, back from the 80s, but he's written about 20 books on life in general. He's amazing. But what he says is that every morning you should get up and write 10 goals that you have. And under each goal, you write three ways that you could possibly attain that goal. And one of my goals was to get an Amazon store. And I started to write that in this little journal. And I went to Target and bought this little book and it's called Chase Rainbows. And as you can see, I'm filling it out with my goals there. And every morning I get up, well, I say I do it about five mornings a week. I don't actually make seven, but I try to do it every morning. And I write 10 goals and they can be different every day. Mostly my goals are the same. My big goal is with my company. My sister and I own a company and my goal is to increase our revenues 10% in 2021. And then I write three ways that I can hopefully bring that about. But I do that with the 10 goals that I write in this book every day. But one of my goals was to get a YouTube store. And so every morning I would pretty much write that as one of my goals here. And I would list three ways that I could get there. And one of them was to search it on the internet and learn it and do it. Well, I was trying that and nothing was really working. I just could not get Amazon contacted. I couldn't figure it out. I was just kind of at a loss about that but I did keep writing it down. And then amazingly, about a month ago, I get an email out of the blue from Amazon and they say, if you're interested, we would like you to set up an Amazon store and we'll give you the resources to do it. And here's step-by-step -step how to accomplish it. And I went, oh my land, I have wanted that for three years. But once I started writing it down in my little book, it's almost like I ordered that Amazon store from God and or the universe, depending upon your belief. And to me, that is just an example of just one little tiny miracle that happens when we start to make our goals, be excited about them, and start moving in the direction of their attainment. And I guess that is my thought for the day, that we're never too old to dream, to make plans, to make goals, and to hopefully change our life for the better. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.